all right guys welcome to another video and this video um i am going to upgrade this uh, lap macbook a1502 which has a mac os high sierra version 10.13.6 i'm going to upgrade it to um, mac os um, mojave everybody uh, some few people were asking me uh, on my comments how does the new samsung 970 evo and the adapter behaves uh, with mac os mojave and how it works and so on so this is what i'm going to do today um, I'm going to update so I already downloaded uh, it's right here install Mac OS Mojave and now if you didn't download it you can just go to the App Store and click on the search bar and type Mojave and there you have it and instead of open right here it will say download so go ahead and download it and when it's done you let's go ahead and um, install it straight from uh, from here all right continue agree agree uh, it's going to install on mac os install your computer is not connected to a power source apple recommends but i have battery how much it's 90% uh, at least so it will be fine continue and let me type in the password all right so here we have the progress bar about 10 minutes all right so I had to close the screen recording with QuickTime just because it will slow down this installation progress Alright, just checking the temperature of the SSD, 41 degrees Celsius and CPUs are 53 or so. Okay, so it looks like uh, I have to click restart to install the macOS Mojave, so I'm going to click restart. Closing application and there you go, it restarted. Now I still have the mouse here. Okay, we have the Apple logo. Just want to say that during this process, the laptop uh, showed the gray screen multiple times. Uh, it looks like it restarted a couple of times with the black screen, so there's nothing to worry about. But I just want to mention these things. Oh no. So we don't want to share anything with the developers. Uh, which one? I do like the dark the light no i don't like the light i like the dark one yeah this is much better way better so let's go with the dark theme continue you can change this going to system preference so you can change it later but i like the dark theme if you look at your screen for long hours yeah that's much better so optimize your mac close so let's see what do i think the bars are a little bit Mm, they're not transparent. Nah, they look the same. Okay, what is this? News. Oh, we don't need news in the taskbar. Remove. Okay, so it looks like my fan is going hot. CPU is 66. Let's go here. Sensors. What do we have? CPU is 63 degrees Celsius. SSD is 44. So before we uh, run the install was 41, now it's 44, so it got a little bit hotter. All right, so let me turn on my uh, screen recording because you guys will get a better, clearer view of what's being done here, what I'm doing, and so on. The version, it will say macOS Mojave 10.14. We have that, storage. Here is Mac OS 1 terabyte. I split it in half. Half is 500 gigabytes for this software, and the other 500 gigabytes is for my workspace. Now let's go to App Store and see if there's any updates. Okay, the App Store changed. 
a little bit the menus on the left it used to be on top now it's on the left and there's no updates small little changes I guess it, I would say looks I like the colors so there's no updates let's close that what we should do we need to test the restart the sleep mode and see the speed test of the SSD see how fast so let's do that first let's go to launch pad mm, where's my apps okay so I have Asia and the black magic and I have one more uh, let me see it's not here now I can download it so let's do this one okay so we'll put not one gigabyte but we'll do 500 megabytes and let's do it so probably because I'm recording it's a little bit um, slower let me stop the recording okay let me go ahead and save this and we'll put Mojave part 2 and we'll save it to workspace save okay the reason I'm stopping the screen recorder because that's recording and it's writing on the SSD and, and it's using the memory and everything so maybe that's why these numbers are a little bit slower so let's do it again without the screen record so I'll click start okay so you can see it's actually a little bit faster so 1389 over 1529 I believe when the screen recording was one it was like 200 megabits per second less on each side so I'm going to leave this one open. Um, let's open um, Blackmagic. And let's see what, just quick start or what? Uh, yeah, let's see, one gigabyte file. Okay, that works. Okay, so we got 1,339, and this one is 1,389, and this one is 1,484, 1,500. So there's a, a little bit of difference here. So it's uh, it's quite they're they're pretty much close to each other. Now um, let's stop this one, and there's one more. Let me download it really quick. I found it the other day. Amorphous disk mark I like this one it's very close to the one in Windows uh, crystal disk mark this one download alright command Q and here we have it. let's open it Where is it? Right here. Okay, here we have it. So 500 megabytes on macOS. So are we going to do all of them? Okay, let's do all of them. So it says here Samsung SSD 970 1 terabyte. Let's just do all of them and see what the results will be. Okay, we've got the one. Read is 1686. So it's more than any of these, and the right is 1,615, and it's more than... Now let's see, where's the sensors? CPU 76, 80, SSD is 43, so the temperature went 1% down, even though we're doing all this testing. Alright, so the testing is done. What I like about this amorphous disk mark is that this one is more of a sequential read and write than the other ones. So this, I mean, it gives a higher speed, so I like it better, I would say. <laughs> but yeah, so you got three different uh, writing speeds on Mojave, I would say. Um, there's not a big difference between high West Sierra speed test and the Mojave. The, I would say if I put them side by side, they'll be pretty much in the same 1600s and 1500s on each uh, app. So this one will have 
its own um, yeah so this one runs the same yeah so this one is 1357 and this one is 1503 so they're they're very similar these two apps and this one is a little bit different let's close this so the question is any difference on this uh, writing and reading speed from high sierra to mojave i would say no it's pretty much the same it does, the os doesn't affect a lot unless uh, you're doing um, like i did a screen recording that will affect the writing speed so make sure when you test the this uh, writing and um, reading speed of your ssd make sure you don't have a lot of um not a lot but i mean major apps uh, consuming a lot of the cpu or memory or anything writing a lot of da data on your um, on your disk because uh, if there is any software that runs in the background that consumes cpu memory and writes on the disk that will decrease your speed test so you can just take a look or close your you know even a web browser or even a final cut or even an update from um, the app store will also slow down a little bit not much but a little bit now next step uh, let's go ahead and um, restart since everybody was worried if they should um, do any changes in the terminal with the sleep mode and so on so first I'm gonna do a restart I actually like this dark um, design so turn display off after 15 minutes so everything is going to be restored defaults turn off display after what two minutes i think yeah two minutes power adapter let me restore to default everything okay and i'm gonna so this dark theme looks much better i like it much better let's close this i would close the lead but i think it's better if we just put it to sleep okay so it went to sleep I'll leave it a minute or two all right so let's wake up the laptop and see okay all right so it looks like the sleep mode will work properly let me go check again uh, when I close the lead because that's the what most of the people will do they will not turn off their laptops but they will just close the lead and they'll go mind their business and then they'll come back and they want to make sure uh, the laptop will be um, working I mean when they open the lead it will not give you those uh, errors and so on so let me just go ahead and uh, move this camera a little bit further so I'm going to close the lead, I'm going to leave it about 10, 15, 20 minutes and then uh, I'll film once I open the lead and see, you know, so you guys can see if everything is working properly. So let's go ahead and close the lead. Alright, so I'm going to leave it here for about um, 10 minutes, I guess. I think 10 minutes should be enough. Alright guys, so 10 minutes passed, I'm going to stop the timer, so let's open the laptop. Alright, so as you can see, the laptop was... It was wide awake, so let me in the password. All right, so everything seems to work fine. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what other um, testing could be done. So let's see if the apps will will uh, work as fine like Photoshop. Let's see if it's going to open under Mojave. Shouldn't be any problem. It's just an update that they made. And yeah, so it, 
the Photoshop is it open it's working like I said this is just an update like iOS 12 I don't think it's a totally different OS it's just an upgrade with some new tweaks a few new details that they added to the high Sierra with a new twist and they just name it differently so it, but I would say it's just an update with a different name pretty much Microsoft iStats works Final Cut should work as well Yeah, so it's working. Final Cut, it's working. Now I'm just going to close it up. Alright, so this new uh, Mojave works fine with the Samsung 1TB Samsung and the adapter. Um, I don't see any problems. Everything works just fine. Uh, let's go ahead and do one more restart. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's restarting without any problems, it works just fine as High Sierra, so go ahead and upgrade without any problems. I didn't even do a backup in Time Machine before I upgraded to Mojave, you should do one just in case, you never know. You saw how many times the screen went blank, dark peach black and then came on and on and off again. So just do a Time Machine backup before you uh, do this and just go ahead and upgrade it. Everything should be fine. All right, I hope this video will answer your questions and if you have any other questions, just comment down below. Thank you guys for watching.